Hey, what's going on guys? Joel here, and today I wanted to share the Rubik's Cube that I ordered from Amazon. This is apparently the YJ Sulong. I say apparently because it looks extremely different than the image suggests. Uh, though in spite of that, I will go ahead and refer to it as the YJ Sulong. You can pick up this cube for about $6 or so on Amazon, about third the cost of a Moyu Along. Though if you're considering getting this cube, don't think that you'll be able to get sub 30 with it. This is for a slower cuber, and for the beginner speed cuber like myself. You will greatly benefit if you upgrade from the Rubik's brand Rubik's Cube to this cube. I was able to drop my average from 130 to sub 1 with just the upgrade. It's an extremely controllable cube and looks great. But what are the main disadvantages? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the mechanism right now. Here's a look at the core. Uh, as you can see, it is a pretty common design. And I don't think there are any drawbacks with this design. Um, so yeah, there's the core. Cool. Next, let's go ahead and check out the pieces and their design. Here is the centerpiece, and immediately you realize the problem with this cube. Since the piece's length is shorter than usual, and since no torpedoes are found in play throughout the whole cube, you come up with a cube that is prone to popping at looser tensions. Even when they're moderately tight, popping still occurs. Uh, this really sucks, to be honest, and um, this is the biggest downfall with this cube. Luckily, again, you can tighten the screws uh, that are found just beneath the caps, and when you tighten it past a certain point, it won't pop, but that speed is no longer enough for the times I am now aiming for, which is now ultimately making me upgrade once again. Also, I'd like to note that corner twisting is possible, but it occurs only about every 50 solves or so, uh, so it's not a very big deal. If you're just getting into speed cubing, or even just want to learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube, go with this cube. You'll not regret a $6 purchase. If you're an intermediate speed cuber, go with the Zanchi. If you're a pro, an hour long is the way to go. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you decided to subscribe. Either way, have a great day.